Hi, this is Michael Schmalley, and I'm here doing a quick little video on the push for Bitwig implementation. Um, I've helped Jurgen work on this Bitwig script, JavaScript. Uh, he's the one that started it, and I came along and added some stuff. Um, <laughs> I think we worked pretty well together. We did a bunch of stuff. I did some housekeeping. He did a lot, most of the sequencer stuff. Um, anyway, so this one is just going to be a quick one. So uh, someone on the KVR forum can see it, you know. Um, basically, if you haven't used the push, it's really interesting. I like it. Um, so basically, we have and right now this is in the session view so it's mimicking what's up here so we can start it these trigger the scenes just like Ableton you got the blinking colors of the scene right Anyway, so you get the idea. That's um, one of the live, live, <laughs> no pun intended, the, the live way of playing the push, jamming on the session. So as I showed, you can we can scroll up and down in the whole session view, and you notice you've got your indicator rectangle right here, uh, what's in the current view. Um, Jurgen added a uh, interesting flip, which will have more to do in the arrangement view because you can see it in the arrangement view. So go to arrange and it is mimicking this layout so you can see that it's the same and you can scroll. So, so can't do that in Ableton. <laughs> Okay, um, now, that's session view, so to go into note view, we got the standard notes here, so you can't, all these are audio tracks, you can't, you know, do anything with an audio track, but still percussion, There's it's audio, but we've got th this one. So we have the standard, you know, push. scales mode you know you can pick your scales major minor so we go to minor you can use the dial or the buttons so now it's a minor 
change the key so this is a root C G D and then we can have you know the whole chromatic view so you got all the flats so that's the whole scale Okay, so I'm not really going in order because I'm planning on doing more in-depth, you know, explanations of all this, but um, these are the mode buttons up here. You can check, so volume shows all the volume levels of all the tracks in the bank, which the bank has eight tracks, and you scroll the bank. These ones move it by eight. There's a couple things that aren't quite implemented yet in the API, but we'll be getting to when Bitwig gets to it. You know, so this selects the track, as you can see. And then these arm. So whenever an instrument track is selected, you have the you have the note playing. And to play the note, you have to have it armed. And um, another thing to note is, what was I gonna say? yeah, so you it won't play. Gotta have the arm. Right. So we have the volume. Jurgen has, uh, he hooked up the VU observers so you can see the track here. It has the VU meters, which is pretty cool. You can turn those off by toggling again. So that gives the volume in the bar. And then you press it again and it will give you the VU. And then, you know, you got the knobs. We'll move the volume. I'm not touching them right now. Okay, and then you go to pan and send. So the first click gives you the track bank, the eight. You, know, you got all your pan positions. The knobs, we'll move them. And you can see it's all the pan knobs are indicated in the UI here. And then you press it again. You get the send of one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have that, but... If you had six sends, it would be there. Okay, and then, so you can just go back to volume, pan, volume, pan, volume. And then we have track mode, which just focuses the individual track. So, FM8, you have the volume. You can adjust the pan, and then the send, the six sends. So you have all your in track mode and then track press it again and it's the same VU the VU is hooked up down here okay um, and then you have master so you can adjust the master volume and master pan press the master and if you hold it down you can actually hit a range perspective mix perspective edit and so if you're in a range and then note you can highlight note edit or the automate pane or the device pane a mixer and full full screen toggle it in and out I added that it was kind of just an extra so it's a long press to get that on master Okay, and then um, we have the device. So go back to track and select the track. So we go to FM. And then device. Well, I need a custom. The VSTs I don't have hooked up right. So we'll just go to the polysynth. So you hit device. 
that's me. Uh, I'll just add a track, which we can't do yet. So I'm just add a polysynth. Okay, so we're back in volume, and then you hit device, and then you can see right here the first set is all here, and I added the next, so it'll go page through, and you can see the highlighted stuff. And I'm still waiting for some API to do this exactly right. And you can enable and disable. And if you put another thing on here, right now these switch tracks. There's some stuff we're going to still figure out. But in device mode, uh, the arrows you can see they go from device to device and then the up and down move through the tracks but it still doesn't the device isn't focusing so anyway um, in device mode if you press it again I added, you can select the banks, so the first one is device, and then common, it just selects different ones, press it again, and then the envelope, those are pre-made ones, user, if you make user, you can have your macro stuff, and modulation, okay, Put that back. Okay. And so um, we have play and record fixed length. When you create a new clip, you can select the length. So Right now I have it on, I'll make four bars, and you make sure it's on. And then we can go to session view. And select uh, I need to do a custom tutorial on this. I'm mainly just showing the function, the main functionality. Um, this, this is why I didn't have a video right now because I was actually taking notes on all the things this does because. As you can see, I'm confusing myself on camera. There's just so much that needs to be covered in detail and order. But So basically, we have the undo, delete. Those are application-wide commands. Quantize is not working. We don't have that yet. It has tap tempo. You know, you can set the tempo by tapping it. You can turn the metronome on and off. And then, um, when, when you're in um, device mode, go back to note, and you're in device mode, you can hit browse, and you can see you can select. The problem is, is we don't have the API yet, the presets show up here, as you can see, but I don't have a way to list them all yet, so I'm just showing each individual one as you load it, so it's just loading each one.
and then accent works. So if you hit note mode again, we have the step sequencer. So get out of device. And this has to have a clip created for it. So go over here and you know just create a clip and then you can start step sequencing and the solo buttons. And then if you were to go into session mode, you would, you know, hit that to play it. Except I'm not in the right page. It's that one. So now you can hear, you go back, we got the step mode. And act. That's, a, that's a gnarly preset. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyway, these, you know, these can adjust the steps. So we got the step sequencer, the note. You can play record this live. But you have to have the, you know, or not. In, and shift record turns overdub on and off. Shift play turns loop on and off, but we're not in a range, so it doesn't matter. Octave up and down work. So, and then we've got tempo adjustment and position which really you know isn't relevant to session view so you know that's the general gist i probably confused you but this was just to get it out quick you know so play record new clip automation turns automation on and off fixed length from creating clips you know, delete and undo, delete, deletes, whatever's focus, metronome, tap, tempo, device, volume mode, pan, send mode, track mode, device mode, browse, presets, master mode, stop all clips, mute, status of track, solo status of track, scales, accent when you're doing step sequencer or playing, octave up and down, note and session. And then the hidden one is note, and that gives you the drum, the drum view, which we don't have a drum set. That would be something else. So this is gives you the sequencer here. Here you, know, you can see, but we don't have a drum kit. Anyway, I'm running on here. This is an example of me doing a video off the cuff. So hopefully, I showed you some stuff to get excited about. I really enjoy this, and with Bitwig, when it really starts getting, you know, feature complete and all this, it's going to be really fun. Now, thank you very much, and I definitely will have more of these videos uh, in order and logical for those that want to know. Thank you. Bye.